All right, we're here with Sam Chalanga for the 20, 2018 London Marathon. Um, so this is your third, I guess, third attempt, or the second one you're hoping to finish, I think, right, in the marathon? Oh, I would say it's the second one. I don't really count the first one. Trials. That, that was yeah. just like, I don't know, a long tempo that I did in LA. <laughs> yeah. Um, and how, how do you feel like your build-up's gone? How do you feel uh, going into the race? You know, I'm really, I feel good. You know, I can't complain because, you know, there's so much stuff that goes into the marathon and it's such a long time of, of, uh, for preparation. And I think given the three months and what I've done, I can just say that if I was to judge based on my three build-up races, I think I'm ready. But then again, they were just half marathon. My only question mark is on the endurance. Yeah. Have I done enough to give me the endurance? Because I know I've got the speed. And I'm just hoping that my endurance is there and I can hold the cook pace on Sunday. Yeah, I mean, the results, I went through them six in Houston, 60-37, that was a big PR, and Thank second you. at the US 15K champs, another you know, great performance, and then 14th at World Half. I mean, we, we, I guess Houston, were you, so, were you surprised you ran that quickly, or what were your thoughts on that race? I was very surprised, and I just felt good. I didn't even know how fast I could run. Mm -hmm. In fact, I only saw it like the last 10 seconds, I was like, oh wow, look at the time, it's under one hour, I mean, under 61. Yeah. I was happy about that. But then, I hadn't done the longer stuff, you know? Yeah, right? yeah. And I hadn't hit like 24 milers and stuff like that. So once I hit some 24 milers and like up the mileage to like 120, 125, and then I, I did the 101 and the 15K, it felt a little bit tired on my legs. Yeah. Yeah. So you feeling less tired now, or how are your legs feeling after that big, you know, all the miles? I feel good. I feel good. I, I've been tapering the last two weeks. Mm -hmm. The last three weeks I went like 180 something, and then this week I'm only going to be like around 60. Yeah. And how does the mileage compare to your build-ups in the, you know, I guess before Chicago? So before Chicago, I, I feel like I emphasize more on the miles because I was hitting like the ice I got was 147. And I was consistently 147 like, before Chicago. Yeah. Okay. And I had a, I had like maybe four, three or four weeks that I was hitting 100, 130. Yeah. But th this time I just I wanted quality and I just want to keep it at 120, tops 130. Yeah. I mean, because yeah. with how you know you've had a lot, you had a very fast 10k PR and you've had success at that distance. You feel like that's you maybe not like a marathoner who needs all those mega miles that so you can just do like enough strength that you can rely on your natural speed or how do you think you approach it? I just think that it's uh, I probably you know it would help me if I have the speed mm -hmm. but at the same time also I realized that like my body is really small so if I have to walk it with the miles then I'll end up losing on my advantage of like having the quick turnover so mm -hmm. I figured like let me try something where like I'm not overloading on my legs but I'm also working on my strength which is like speed side yeah and see how it turns out yeah yeah what's your goal for Sunday my goal for Sunday is like honestly I you don't know the marathon man I don't know but I'm hoping that I can have a time that can give me confidence moving on the marathon like just have a good race because Chicago I, I hit the wall at mile 23 yeah I, if that doesn't happen I'll be happy is there a time? So, what time would give you confidence? Do you have a time that you would you'd be pretty satisfied with? I think I would know. I would know if, if, if I performed well and I was consistently running a good pace. You know, whatever I get, I would appreciate it. Because you look at like Boston. If you just went in think, thinking times, mm -hmm. you don't know. I think I, I want to have a good performance, and then the time will come. Is there a group that you? I think you're running with because obviously the first guys have been talking about going out under world record pace or mm -hmm. close to world record pace and that's probably not something you'd be interested in but like who, you know did, have you talked about who you might run with or anything like that yeah we've had a lot of discussions and it's really I, I like I would love to run with those guys it's a race I hate to say that I'm gonna be in the back but world record is like just that's ridiculously fast yeah I'm hoping, like, I'm probably going to choose a group that goes, like, 64, 63. Okay. Yeah. I think, personally, I, I think I can risk it up to, like, 62, 30. I, 62, 30? You'd be fine risk, coming through the half and that? I can risk it. Like, I know it's a bad idea, but if that if they went that pace, I would go with them. Wow. But un, under that, I wouldn't. 
Let's bold, man, because only one American has ever run. Yeah. Ryan Hole's the only guy who's ever run 205 or faster. It would, yeah, that's pretty crazy. But who, how would you know that? Because like when I ran my personal best in Houston, I didn't go there and say, I'm going to run this space. I just competed. So I'm like, unless, until you try it, <laughs> you'll never know. Yeah, that's, that's a good point. Yeah. Um, what did what, you learn about the marathon in Chicago? I just, you know, Chicago, we went pretty easy. The first, I felt like I was just on, on my feet for so long. Yeah. I wish I had gone a little faster. And then also, the biggest takeaway was nutrition. I never really understood sports nutrition when it comes to marathon. So like during the race or in the build up to the race? During or the what? race, like I'm talking about like, what are you drinking? Yeah. And so that was my big problem. What was the problem? What were you drinking? I didn't really, I was just drinking electrolytes. Okay. Like more like Gatorade, just like sodium, potassium, things like that. I didn't have like energy in it, carbs. And then I discovered like that drink, that uh, Kipchoge drink called Morton. Morton, yeah. And down, I was like, it, it's really helped me because if you're small, you can't store so much. I can't eat like all the calories that I want. Yeah. So that one helps me fill up the rest. And then during the race, I can take like, I don't know how many ounces for 5K. It'll yeah. help me. I'm really, I really think it will help to have a, Carbs. Yeah, taking in carbs as yeah. opposed to just electrolytes. Yeah, I think it will help. So, do you have a prediction for the men's race? Who wins winning time? I think that they probably, if they win under the world record pace, probably like, because I only saw Kipchoge last year at the Breaking 2. Mm -hmm. He's pretty good. <laughs> I think I think you should be able to win. Yeah. And you can run. I wouldn't even be shocked if you run like, I don't know, with the, with the heat. Probably like two or three something. Okay. If they went under the American dragon. Well, the record the record's two hundred two fifty seven. So I would be very pessimistic about hitting the record on Sunday. Because of the weather. It's, yeah, the weather is not ideal, and like there's so many turns. What's the end? Yeah. On this course. Well, Kipchoge, Kipchoge has run two hundred three hundred five here before. He ran his PR here. A couple was years the weather ago. the same as now? No, I think it was better than this weather. I mean, it was a little cooler. Way. All I know is he's very strong. Yeah. And although we don't know how big he would do, but you know when it comes to these like head head to head matchups with the big guys, somebody cracks. But I don't expect Joker to crack. I, I feel like I'm more confident in just picking him as a winner. I don't know the type he will run because it's a little bit warm. Yeah. Be, yeah. And this this also pollen in the air. So. Yeah. All right, Sam. Well, appreciate the time and. Uh Good luck on uh, Sunday in London. Thank you.